so it's time to do some casting. After my last gem bowl, I had a customer ask me to make them another when they purchased that other one. So we're going to use some Australian beef wood. And first of all, before I forget, Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's crazy. I have never had this happen. I, rem I have to go look at the tape, but I could have sworn that we put hardener in here. It did not harden at all. So that means we're going to have to pour this out and put a hardener in there, or just dump it out and do it again. Ah, oh, that's weird. Okay, so I went back, looked at the video, and that dinner bell ringing in the video distracted me because it was delicious food so I kind of rushed this doing this resin and I did not put any of the hardener although in the video you see me I put the resin right there the resin hardener right there I never put it into the resin so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a big old thing here to to do more <laughs> Put this resin back in there. Even the stuff that I dumped out into my dumping, we're gonna try to reclaim all that too. Forget the noise, uh, Leanne's over there sanding, but uh, I'm gonna take all these and put them back in here. I'm gonna have to drain it out. No need to take off all the resin on these things, just let it drain off of them. This may take a bit. Because when you put the new resin in, it will mix with it. So I just filled this up to 500 uh, grams. I took away the weight of this container and then made it up to 500 again. And now I'm putting 225 grams of hardener in this time. Which is totally going to be a lot more than I'm, I need, I think. I'm 100% positive. Time to mix it. All right, now that this is uh, stirred, and hopefully it'll harden this time because I put hardener in it, let's uh, go ahead and get it into the bowl. Now 
Now let's get this in the uh, pot and <laughs> dang, there's a lot left. Okay, let's get this in the pot and maybe pour another bowl. I don't know. We'll check. Alright, <laughs> it came out good this time. Let's see if it'll come out of the mold. That unmixed stuff that was I put it back into is on the bottom. I just wipe it off and we'll go from there. This thing is all sticky from the first go where I had all that resin with no hardener in it. So I've got this stuff right here, this nap, uh, paper towel that I was sitting it on is all sticky. So. This is a disaster. These are all good, but everything that was on that thing is all over. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to stick to it or just bleed all through it. That's not going to work. It's going to start all over. Good job, Ken, you dumb <laughs> <laughs> So, this one. This all started because I got distracted because my granddaughter rang the dinner bell and I was rushing to go eat. Uh, so, <laughs> you got to pay attention to what you're doing. This has been, this has been what's been going on all week long, things like this. Uh, trying to get some bowls done and having issues with them and having to fix them or not being able to fix them. And this one is actually, you can see right here maybe, coming apart right there because of that sticky resin that didn't mix with the resin. I figured it would after I poured it and these seem to adhere pretty good in there but around it on the top it did not. Uh, I'm not really sure what I could have done. I cleaned it off as best I could. So this one's going to go up on the shelf. Maybe one day the resin will, <laughs> I don't think it will but maybe, I don't know. I have to figure out what I'm going to do for it. Um, I think I have an idea, maybe I don't. 
So, uh, <laughs> hope you enjoyed my screw up, my dumb shittery, is what I like to call it. Um, so, if this is your first time here, head on down, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button and share my video. You can see I'm not afraid to show you my fails or what I do stupidly. Um, but until next time, you can see me over on Instagram or at Facebook. I'll put those right down here. And until I do see you again, stay cool.